hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new please subscribe that's the only way that you are going to get notified when we post new content if you're already a subscriber welcome back please like this video you do not lose anything but you help to keep me motivated to make more videos share more content all for free by the way if you are looking to download forex systems forex robots forex strategies indicators books and stuff like that all for free there are links in the description box below visit those blogs and see if you cannot find what you are looking for sometimes people come and request things that are already on the blogs don't be that person go through the blogs and see if you cannot find what you're looking for then if you still cannot find what you're looking for you can always come back and leave a request in the comment section below and i promise to certainly make an effort to find the thing for you after downloading the forex systems robots indicators certainly you want to test them in real market conditions before giving them all your hard-earned cash the links are in the description box below for the broker that i use you can actually deposit five dollars ten dollars into your account just to test the robot just to test the indicator or the system to see if it makes money before you actually go all in so visit the broker that i use and open an account you don't lose anything it's just a five dollar account a ten dollar account if you are struggling with anything concerning your forex trading if you have questions if you have challenges if you have topics that you want me to make videos on leave them in the comment section below and i'll certainly make a video on your question i've been there and i wish when i started i would have come across a channel like this where they were just sharing information for free so go ahead and like this video subscribe if you are not yet subscribed uh, share the video with your friends let's get into today's topic so i traded the DAX, also known as german 30 on many forex broker platforms and i loved it i know i know it's not as popular as the us indices it's not as popular as nas 100 it's not as popular as us 30 it's not as popular as s p 500 but trust me you can make money trading the dax the german 30. many people are also making a lot of money just trading the german 30 uh, or the dax and you can like the us 30 like the us 30 the german 30 actually also tracks the performance of the top 30 companies that are listed on the frankfurt stock exchange we are talking about companies like lind we are talking about companies like sap like siemens we are talking about companies like adidas like Bayer. we are talking companies like bmw volkswagen you get the picture these are some of the biggest companies in the world in technology in automotive in a whole lot of under, in other industries and it also happens that germany the german economy is actually the biggest economy in europe so what you get with the us 30 is actually what you can expect with german 30. let's face it the u.s economy is the biggest economy in the world so german 30 might not move as fast as u.s 30 but that must not stop you trust me you can make money with german 30. there are actually plans to add 10 more companies to the german 30 and actually make it german 40 i think maybe it's going to be german 40 before the end of 2021 but it used to be called german 30 but there are plans to make it uh german 40 they are going to add 10 more companies but that shouldn't make a difference you can still trade it the way that you have been trading it if you have been trading it or if you are about to trade it so what are some of the things that i learned whilst trading german 30. Uh, first of all i noticed that there is a positive correlation with the us dollar 
it positively correlates with the US dollar. I would say between 60% and 85% correlation with the US dollar. Sometimes they are not in sync. Sometimes they are not moving together, but most of the time they are moving together. Why is that? Because the DAX is trading the companies like BMW, like Lean, like SAP, like Siemens. These are some of the biggest companies in the world. And they are trading in a lot of markets like the US market, the African market, you know, Europe, Asia. And guess how do they make their money in US dollars? How do they collect their revenues in US dollars? Because it's the international currency. So, whatever happens to the US dollar usually reflects on the German 30 because these companies are big international companies. So, that's actually a hint for you there. You can easily track what's happening on the dollar to get an idea of what's going to happen on the German 30. Then, you also notice that right now, whilst it's still German 30, before it becomes German 40. I don't know if they're going to call it German 40 after adding the 10 more companies. But you notice that only a handful of companies actually move the German 30. Only a handful of companies actually set the direction for the German 30. The top five companies is Lind, SAP, Siemens, Alliance, and Bayer. Between them, they actually hold more than 40% of the weight of the index. So whatever they do, if their stock goes up, if their stock goes down, they drag the whole index with them. Actually, Lind and SAP, between them, they actually hold more than 20% of the index. So you can actually simply watch what's happening with the stock uh, on Lind or SAP stock. What's happening with their stock? Is it going up? Is it going down? Which might give you a hint of where you might want to be biased. If suddenly a Lind and SAP are going up, then obviously your bias needs to be on buying. If SAP and Lind stock is going down, better still, if Siemens, Alliance, Bayer, and also their stock is going up or going down, you certainly have a bias for your trading. I also noticed that uh, German 30 has a correlation with US 30 and S&P 500. It doesn't with uh, NAS 100. It doesn't so much have a correlation with NAS 100. Uh, usually, I observe that uh, whilst German 30 is going up, usually NAS 100 is going down. But usually, what you see on S&P 500 is actually what's happening on German 30. It might not be moving uh, the same pips the same distance with uh, what you are getting on S&P 500 and US 30 but it will be certainly be moving in that same direction which makes it easier to trade. I also noticed that German 30 also if you've traded currencies if you've traded other, uh, other indices it also likes to retest levels on the lower time frames he certainly loves to do retests so you can actually wait for breakouts and retest before you can actually make a trade so that's how you trade german 13. i also observe that uh, whilst many brokers will demand uh, a lot more money to trade nas 100 or US 30 or S&P 500 they actually require less to trade German 30 it's just an observation uh, usually whatever I have in my account if it's not enough to trade uh, 
uh, NAS 100, US 30 or S&P 500. You know when you place your trades and you play, your trades are not being uh, filled because you are not having enough uh, for that trade. If you go to German 30, you can actually trade German 30. So I don't know if it's a lower uh, deposit requirement for German 30 unlike the other US ETCs. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you are trading German 30. I would like to hear your thoughts. I would like to hear your tips, the things that you have also found whilst trading the DAX so that we can actually help one another and make this money. Like this video, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Until next time, bye.